Guys, this is my second video. Um, this one is going to be geared more towards Trans Am specifically. Um, and leasing. I am a lease driver at Trans Am. I don't remember if I mentioned that in my first video. Um, I'm not really trying to take YouTube too serious. It's just kind of a thing to keep from going crazy. And two, because I'm tired of seeing people shit on Trans Am that have no right to shit on Trans Am. Trans Am, so far to me, is a good company. Like I said, I'm leasing. Um, I've got, today is February 20th. My lease is officially up on the 1st. I am signing another lease, another six-month lease. And there's a reason behind that. Um... Like I said before, I was with CRST for six months, and I ended up breaking contract with them. Um, not so much because of the company. It was, you know, I talked about it before, um, the caliber of drivers that they were trying to stick me with, and then my driver manager there ended up being a real unprofessional um, human being. I'll try and keep these videos semi clean um, so I left there so for anyone that knows anything about CRST if you break contract with them they won't verify any employment at all until you pay them back and you know what I'm gonna be honest I'm probably leaning towards not really paying them back I haven't heard anything from them since I left I'm gonna let it be that you know, I'm here, I'm satisfied where I'm at. Um, but the reason I'm signing another six month lease is I do have every intention of going local. And with that being said, if I do another six month lease, that'll give me one year verifiable employment at one company. A lot of these companies don't want the good companies you know, some companies, yeah, they don't give a shit um, if you're bouncing around from company to company. But a lot of the older drivers that I've talked to, that, um, and I see local drivers a lot for different companies, and I'll ask them, you know, your best bet is to get a year in at one company. A lot of companies don't want to see you hopping around from company to company, so that's why I'm signing another six-month lease. My next six-month lease, that's going to be it for me as of right now things could change to be honest though i highly doubt it i more than likely am gonna try and go local after this um but yeah i will definitely take you along the journey for these next six months i didn't start i thought about doing youtube before during my first lease that i'm about to finish and i just ended up not you know, to be honest, I didn't know if I was going to stay after um, I finished this first lease, but I decided, you know what, six months, it's flown by so fast, I might as well do six more just to have a year um, verifiable at one company. Looks a little bit better. Um, but yeah, as far as people... that talk that are on YouTube on social media in general talking crap about Trans Am you know Trans Am's only giving me enough miles to make my truck payment maybe put a couple hundred dollars in my pocket um, you gotta why they leave out why because if you think about it you're in their trucks making a truck payment my truck payment every week insurance everything my truck payment every week just truck not I'll leave out insurance and all that shit my truck payment every week is six hundred and seventy five dollars a week I don't know what the fuck that is a month because I failed math a lot um I have to get a calculator six hundred seventy five dollars a week and on top of that I pay for my own fuel to move their freight 
Trans Am, I'm not an idiot when it comes to this, Trans Am is making a fuck ton of money off of me and off of every other lease driver. That's not a secret. That's a well-known thing. So you got to stop and think, why, if Trans Am is only giving you enough miles to make your truck payment and get a little bit of pocket change every week, they're doing it on purpose, more than likely. They don't want you in their truck anymore. They're not going to fire you, though. They just don't want you in their truck anymore. They want you to quit. Why, though? If you're paying their shit, you're paying their fuel, why would they want to do that? Yeah, there's going to be somebody else ready to jump in that seat and lease that truck as well. But it boils down to Trans Am wants quality leasers in their trucks. People that can get shit done, that don't whine about everything, that don't turn loads down, that, um, you know, that overall are just doing their job. So, you know, that is the one thing that it, it just bothers me so much when I see people talk shit about them, is they leave out why. They're telling half-truths or they're just leaving out why. Why they're getting screwed. I'm not going to say they're not getting screwed because I 100% believe it. It just baffles me that they leave out why. And then you have people online that are just now thinking about coming into trucking, you know, looking at Trans Am as a starter company, um, you know, and I will say this, I'm sure you hear it all the time, if you're just getting into trucking, do not, do not jump into leasing. No matter what company it is, don't do it. I did it too. I was only in six months and then I came here and yeah, I fell for the leasing um, story, whatever you want to call it. I fell for it. Um, is it 100% what I thought it was going to be? No. Or, uh, no. But at the same time, am I satisfied? Yeah. I'm man enough to finish a contract that I sign. I'm not going to sign it and then get pissed and then leave. I'm signing another one. I'm going to finish the other one. I got a fat ass bonus coming up for finishing my lease. And my next six month lease, once I finish that, another fat ass bonus. Even then, dude, Trans Am doesn't have to give bonuses for finishing your lease. You sign the contract. There's nothing stating that they have to be nice and give you a bonus. And I mean, the bonus isn't a lot. What the bonus is, is it's three cents for every mile that you put on the odometer of the truck. Not dispatched miles. Every mile that you put on the odometer of the truck, three cents for every mile. So, I mean, my bonus is going to be, I'd have to do the math again, but where I'm at right now, I'm looking at a little over 2500 bucks, which isn't bad. On top of already making decent money the whole six months, I make consistent miles. That's another thing, reason why I'm staying, is I have consistent miles. When I was at CRST, if I was making a delivery on a Friday, I could guarantee myself that I'd be sitting till Monday. I would not have another load until Monday. I'm sitting all weekend. Here, doesn't matter. I could deliver it two o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, guess what? They've got something else lined up for me. Trans Am is very consistent. Nine times out of 10, before I even finish the load that I'm on, they've got my next load pre-planned. So I know when that load's picking up, so it's a little bit easier for me to plan the trip that I'm on, and then go ahead and be thinking about planning the trip that I'm gonna be on. You know, because you know when it picks up, so you know how you need to run the last half, or you know, ass end of the trip that you're on right now. So, I mean, they give you the tools to be successful. What you do with them is totally up to you, because they're not gonna stay on your ass, you know. You're an independent contractor. You're self-employed, according to Trans Am. They don't care. <laughs> They're getting that truck payment either way. So if you want to make money, it's up to you. 
I make money. That's why I'm signing another lease. There's people that make money at Trans Am. That's why they have leasing. If people just were not making money, there would be nobody to lease trucks. You know, it's obviously successful in some aspect, depending on what you do with it. You know, one of the big things, turning down loads. Why? Why do you turn down loads? You know, I got a call one time from my dispatcher. I was in uh, Aurora, Colorado, dropping a load off at Anheuser-Busch. I had a load of beer I was dropping off. He said, hey, how do you feel about New York City? I said, where? He said, the Bronx. It's like, well, I've never been there. He goes, well, it's, you know, a good run. It's leaving Greeley, Colorado tomorrow morning. You know, if you want it, you can have it. If not, you're the only person that I have right now that um, time on my clock wise that you're the only driver I can that I have that can do it. If you don't want it, I'm going to have to give it to another DM and let them figure it out. I was like, you know what? I've never been there. I'll try it, though. Um, I did a fuck ton of pre-planning, looked into that. I got on social media, man. I got on Facebook. Some of these groups, you know, that are on Facebook, um, you know, I get on, get in on that, you know, and ask them, you know, like specifically, you know, has anybody ever been to this place here? And I got tons of help. I got advice. I got all kinds of shit, you know, it you have to utilize tools that you have you know and now that I've been there like dude I've been Boston Rhode Island uh, the Bronx um, Maryland through DC which sucks um, I don't turn anything down though like I'm I'm so some of the places I've been I'm so comfortable now that no matter where they're sending me if it makes sense to take it if it's not going to financially put me in a bind, yeah, might as well take it. I might not like going there, but I'll do it because they're asking me to. They hired me to move their freight. That's what they're asking me to do. If it makes sense financially to take it, I'll take it. Well, I mean, why, why would you turn that down? You're nervous? If it, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're nervous about um, certain places, like going certain places in a truck and whatnot, you're going to have a hard time with Trans Am. All Trans Am runs is East Coast, Midwest. We go through a lot of busy fucking areas. Some of the D.C., we only deal with distribution centers. Don't let that fool you, though. I've been to some fucked up, small distribution centers I went to one in North Carolina that was family owned it was tiny they had one dock and that dock was not made for uh, 73 feet of, feet of vehicle it was made for 28 foot box trucks or however big they are not made for a tractor trailer but you know what I did it it's not a hard job it's not hard to make money at Trans Am. You've got to be smart about it. And you know what? Another thing that I've seen, and I'm so tired of the race bullshit, and I've seen it. Certain people, I've seen a couple of black guys talking about the fact of it's because he's white. She's white. That's why she's getting the miles. This, that, and the other. Da, 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 da. You know what? You know how many African American people are um, in the corporate aspect of Trans Am? Trans Am does not give a fuck what color you are. You know what color Trans Am cares about? Green. Fucking money. That's it. If you're making them money, they're going to run the shit out of you. They run the shit out of me. So much so to the point where um, they help me out a lot. You know, um, perfect example, last week at one point, 
I was headed to right outside Philadelphia. I can't remember the name of the township, but it was right outside uh, Philadelphia. I got there two days basically before I had to deliver. I was about 250 miles away. I shut down that night. And the next morning I got up, I was planning on getting up, driving four or five miles, getting as close as I could, and then sitting until the day after that at 10 a.m. is when I had to deliver. But I get up that morning, I've got a message to call them. So I call them. They say, hey, we're going to have you relay with this guy. It'll get you em it'll get you more miles today, and it'll get you empty quicker. So they had me backtrack about 130 miles because they didn't it was a company driver he's not having to make truck payments not having to pay for fuel and all that but they didn't want to completely fuck him so they had me backtrack 130 miles so that gave him more miles than if he would have came and uh, or it gave him more miles because I had to backtrack and meet him I'll just leave it at that so I backtracked meet him we relayed loads and that load that he had delivered that night about a hundred and another no about close to 200 miles away so I drove 200 miles delivered was empty by 6 o'clock that evening versus 10 o'clock the next morning so because I was empty at 6 o'clock that evening they had something else lined up for me so I went and picked that up boom that was the one that I was running to Kansas City so from Pennsylvania Kansas City so that put me again right at dude I, I run consistently 3,000 miles a week and a lot of people say that's not you know I run 3,500 a week well okay that's fine you run 3,500 this week what do you get next week 2,500 you know so Trans Am is consistent with the loads if you fucking work I get 3, 000, right around 3,000 consistently You know, and I could harp on this all day, but it, it 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 truly boils down to the fact of Trans Am is 100% what you make it, especially leasing. I can't speak for company. I've never. Uh, I'm not a company driver. I lease here. I can't go company. And that was. I think I spoke on this before, but you know, if you're thinking about coming to Trans Am, do not jump into leasing immediately don't especially if you're brand new to the industry you know if you've been doing it a little while you know you're gonna make your own decision anyways you know I did it six months at CRST and then I came here and decided to do leasing um, I've learned a fuck ton since doing it I don't have any regrets but there are some people that get in over their heads and you know regret it if you're planning on coming to Trans Am, do company. Go company. Give it a month or two. Because here's the thing. At Trans Am, you can always go from company to leasing like that. Once you're leasing, you cannot go back to a company driver. At all. Ever. They're not going to let you. And a lot of people have theories as to why that is, but... The reason they say, and it's pretty much what it boils down to, is if you can't be successful at leasing here, you're not going to be a, su a successful company driver. Which I don't completely agree with. I think it's because, you know, hey, you're already paying for our truck. We're not going to let you get out of that and go make, you know, money not having to pay for a truck and fuel. Um, but I mean, in all seriousness, it is what it is. It's a decent company. I'm doing six more months for sure. About to go home in a few days, decompress, and then get right back on it. But like I said, if you, you know any of you guys have questions, concerns, even if you just want to say fuck you, comment, tell me to go fuck myself. I don't care. Um, nothing really bothers me because here's the thing I'm doing these video yeah I'm putting out information but at the same time I'm really doing it to kind of keep myself sane so say what you want to say I don't care <laughs> um, but seriously if you have questions ask them don't hesitate to ask um, if I don't know I promise you I, I will 
find out for you. I'll go straight to the source that I need to go to here at Trans Am and I'll find out for you. But anyways, um, I'm going to go watch some TV or something and kill another four hours, three and a half before I get to go deliver and then come right back to the truck stop once I deliver and sit here till tomorrow probably. Um, but yeah, anyways, like, subscribe, comment, do what you got to do. All right. I'll see you guys later.